I've always liked making stuff since I was young. Uh, more like break things first, but then after you break them, you have to fix them. 3D printing allows you to create basically anything. At the end of the day, when you finally get something that you are satisfied with, it's a pretty big relief that you managed to get something to work. Hi, I'm Wen Sheng and this is my 3D printer. It's a Pusa Mark 3S. This was my first printer. I think we bought it about four years ago at this point. One of the more interesting things I've printed recently is this rubber sheet is printed out of PPU. It is a lot more soft and flexible compared to the standard hard plastics that most people bring with. So I've done quite a number of things, bike pedals on my indoor bike, phone stand for a specific phone, or as well as like a sh customizable shoe rack, this particular bike seat, which I'm currently testing on my mountain bike. 3D printing is a pretty big part of my life. Both at home, it's part of my hobbies, as well as at work. At Pelagos, our focus is mainly on the maritime industry. We do a lot of components that go on board various commercial vessels. This can start all the way from very small, simple polymer components, all the way to much more critical metal components. Remember the return oil stamp pipe that just came in? The original is 75 kg, right? Yep, so I think oh. the redesigned part is about 8 kg right now. I was working at a different job first. When I saw this job, I was like, okay, quite interesting. Is 3D printing really a valid thing that people do for a living? My impression of this whole 3D printing thing was just, oh, it's a useful technology for prototyping. I wasn't thinking of it from the industrial perspective, but then researching more, it is useful commercially. And then that's when I decided that, okay, this might be an interesting path to pursue. Right now, we are at Marina South Pier. These are the usual bum boats we take. So these are the small ones. We come on over here, we hop onto them. Then this will take us out to the much larger vessels that you see. I think it's pretty fun, especially when you're boarding a new type of vessel. One of the things we do is part assessment, where we walk around the ship and identify parts that the crew has issues with, and then we see whether this can be additively manufactured, or we can go on board to reverse engineer parts. So if there's a component that is already having issues, we can measure the part and then we produce it for them at the next spot they are going to. To be honest, I was drawn to this shop because of the additive manufacturing side of things. But now that I'm here, I think maritime is also quite interesting. Unlike most engineering roles where people are sort of specialised into doing a single component for a very long time, we get to touch a very large range of parts. I couldn't really imagine myself doing anything other than engineering. It's been a pretty obvious path for me my whole life. One of the common misunderstandings about engineering that it is a very hard, very dirty job. It's a very wide range. Pretty much anyone can find something that interests them. So to all engineers out there, keep doing what you are doing. You are the reason why things are still moving.